mm -hmm. on, the, on, on the motherboard are, are for fan power. Okay. You'll see them here. You'll see one probably for the chassis fan. This is the chassis fan. Okay. Okay. CPU fan, chassis fan. See the see, see the see the chassis fan connects to another four pin header. Okay. A CPU fan, absolutely necessary. Computer won't boot without it. Chassis fan. Usually there's more fans, but these are these are really uh, small small units. These are not your custom build. I have a custom I, I, I custom built hundreds of these. This is a really simple build. Okay. Okay. You got four RAM slots. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is DDR. This is DDR3 memory. Okay. PCs probably PC 6400. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what the what the, mo the model is of the RAM, but this, these are these are your these are your 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 DDR3 RAM slots. Okay. Um, go ahead. What else do you think? What do we uh, got here? Totally forgot. Totally forgot. Mm -hmm. Okay. This here, all of these five are all PCI slots. Okay. These are your old standard PCI slots. These are the PCI X slots. Okay. Okay. So these three are your old PCI slots, the old PCI standard. This is PCI X standard. I believe this is PCI X1. These are probably two X16 slots. And these would be for your, these two slots would be for any hefty graphics card you would plug in. This would be for a smaller component, like maybe a, ne a network card, Bluetooth adapter, others kind of stuff. This you can hook up to add additional ports. These PCI cards were the, were the gold standard back in the day. They include them now, but they're only used for, for like maybe adding sort of USB ports or something like that. These were where you would put, put the graphics cards. Okay. You got your hard drive here. Okay. And that hooks up through the power supply, okay? And you have a SATA adapter, which hooks up into these one, two, three, four, five here, or well, these four are SATA ports, and this is an eSATA port. An eSATA port is an external SATA port. It would hook up to a peripheral that would be plug in, plugged in on the outside of the computer, okay? These are your capacitors, okay? These here, these carry carry power throughout the motherboard. Used to be made, used to be made in um, Taiwan. And, well, there's nothing. I know you're you're from Taiwan, right? No. Okay, okay, but okay, I don't remember where you're from. Okay, but yeah, where, where, are, you, where are you from? Philippines. Philippines. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, they, they've they've changed. They were made in Taiwan, and for a while, and then they were exploding, and now they've changed. They've gone away from the. These are high, probably higher level capacitors now. Um, we'll get to we'll get to them. Here's your power supply, which feeds the power to the entire unit. It's probably a 350 power, watt power supply. It feeds power through. This is the, and this is not the standard you would find on most motherboards, but this here is where it's feeding power to. It's probably it's a six pin adapter here, and it looks like you got another four, another four pin adapter there that feeds the motherboard. Another, another couple fours. Normally it's a 20 pin. Normally on most motherboards it's a 20 or a 20 plus four. And that's the pins on the motherboard. If you see it, you unhook this here, you got no power to the motherboard now. This is six, six pin power. Okay, so all the connectors on the front, everything you see on the front of the computer here, all your, your ports, your everything from your lights to this switch, something triggers this switch, right, to turn the motherboard on, right? These all connectors come out and they get loaded into, you can see they come out here and these are your configuration here. This is a really simple configuration. Usually they're two pin connectors. These are like eight pin connectors that are like embedded and, and they go to these uh, connectors on your motherboard. Okay. Um, let's go through some of your other stuff on here. Uh, on the back, you have all your ports here. Go through your standard ports. PS2 keyboard and mouse. This is the old standard. Uh, now everything just seems to be USB. These are P old PS2 ports. You got your 15 pin VGA connector. This, I think, is an old serial port. Looks like an old serial port. Um, this is the display port. Computers now ship with DisplayPort instead of SATA, I'm sorry, instead of HDMI, because they don't have to pay licensing fees for the HDMI. Okay. 
if, if they if they went with HDMI, they have to pay Sony and, and, and Philips and all, all, the, all the different companies. But this play port is a free standard. It carries sound and video. That port carries sound and video. You got your network, uh, you got your network jack. You got two USB 2.0 slots here. And, the re and here's, here you have the USB 3.0 slots. You know how you can tell them apart? Yeah, the color, the blue. Right. You've got audio in, and, um, sorry, you've got microphone and, and line, line out for speakers. Um, other things on the motherboard. Um, um, what about want... for all these, uh, these cables and all these wires, like what's the, the main function, well, what it does? Okay, so the SATA is to transport the data back and forth. It used to be uh, IDE for many years, it was IDE. Now it's SATA, and that's six gigs. The standard is, it used to be three, it's six gigs per, six gigs per second, I see. Um, these are your SATA ports that tra 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 transfer data back and forth. So basically, uh, you would see one hooked up here, and you see another SATA port hooked up here, here. And you'll see that's what the connector looks like. That's just a, SATA, a typical SATA cable. You've got your SATA power. It's a longer, thinner one. Mm -hmm. SATA power. You probably have some four-pin Molexes on here, or maybe you don't even have four-pin Molexes anymore. You probably don't. But, you know, uh, you have your, your uh, you have a couple connectors feeding power to the motherboard. I showed you this one, this white one here. And I showed you just there's one here. Um, basically, if you look really close on. On the motherboard, you will see little like, okay, so this is SATA power here. This is SATA power here. Okay, this is motherboard power here. The two white ones are motherboard power here. Um, uh, this feeds your front panel. These are connectors for your front panel, so your light and your, your power switch work. Um, uh, this here is your, okay, another thing you should need to know. This is a CMOS reset. This resets your BIOS. It's a CMOS reset. It doesn't reset the password. It resets all the set settings back to factory. Okay? And then there's your, your battery for your, your, your CMOS, your CMOS battery, okay. which basically is the operating system for the motherboard, basically. The operating system pre, you know, you think of the operating system as Windows, but the computer has its own sort of... Um, you know, uh, and uh, low-level uh, low-level operating system that controls all what peripherals are there, how, what what speed the memory is, what voltage the memory is at, all the little configurations. Whether the whether the speaker on the onboard is turned on, you uh, you your password, you get a BIOS password. There's a, there's a bunch of functions that are there that can be pulled out, and you would reset the settings as well. That would come out. They last. They generally last a long time. Okay. You ever wanted to reset a password on a on a CMOS, you would pull this BBR pass. You, you you pull this password, this pin right off here. It's a two pin. It's a two pin connector, and you can see it right here. Basically, you basically take it off, or you'd put it. I usually just stick it so I don't lose it. I would stick it on one pin only. Now I can reset the, the password. Put it back on. It's back 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 to staying on. Um, just like I showed you, you've got your under underneath that seat, underneath the 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 the, the, the hard uh, well the motherboard's the you know the, the my main part, but underneath your CPU cooling fan here is your processor, mm -hmm. which is a uh, probably an i i5. I think it's a this one has a core i5. It's got uh, it's a core i5. Um, I think that's a four core. I think it's a core. I think it's a four core. They've got four core and six core. They've even got eight core ones. But um, heat sink. It's a heat sink that distributes heat. Underneath, underneath this cooling fan here, you're gonna see. Feel this. Feel this. Feel that. See this? Feel those, those, those fins? Yeah. That that that's a heat sink too. Okay. So the the the, the processor gets really really hot. Okay. And it will get so hot it will burn up. You need to cool it. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, is basically you have a heat sink that distributes the heat away from the processor and the cooling fan pushes that heat out. Oh, and in okay. between this heat sink and the processor is a thin layer of, 
of a thermal adhesive. Okay. Okay, that gets put in between there to conduct the heat away from the processor. And that's most of what I could tell you. All right. Got any more uh, questions? Do you mind if uh, you could like, take it apart and putting it back together? Well, what do you mean taking apart? I can't take this computer because okay. this, this is one of our computers here. Okay. I could take this computer apart. As a matter of fact, I, I do it pretty regularly. 